have a look, Sunan. There. That's the statue the Zealots use. Done. Nothing but smoke and ashes now. That should get those salads off my back. Cozy room. Well... Ah, glad to see you made it, Shelbert. Thanks to Sigurd, he was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Davor, but what of Lady Chestershire? The Alliance has won. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both.
At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king. But that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Sheolbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The Honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now calls us friend. And to the south, Soma Yalskona and the Danes of Grandebridge have pledged their oaths to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of- You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? I do not claim to be Sigurd's equal. But I will not shy from the triumphs I have fairly won, Dag. Let glory seek and find those who have earned it. If that means me, so be it. If that means you, any one of you, all the better. And so I raise my horn. First to Sigurd. May he return to us soon. And to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough, but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. If you're not yet drunk, you should be. This is a feast, and a celebration of Sigurd's leadership. Enjoy it! Just as I thought, you're- Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many! Now come, the battle roars already! Bloody curs! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons! All others, stay here! With me! There is nothing for you here but death! And a rival.
Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Keatland. But with none left alive to spill their secrets, we may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find... An ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound. Scratching your ass in search of silver. Put an end to this one. Your silence earns you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor. Give it to him. Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Go, and do not return. Oh. I thank you. This is not mercy, it is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits, should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him, we will find... To show mercy would endanger us, soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call, but I am. And if you cross me again, he will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps. Valkas among them. Ah, a new letter. Tekla's brewery has not been built yet. I should do that for her before the festival. I will need to raise the barn if we're going to get the farm ready for the festival.
Fear and Bloodtooth. Berserkers make fierce foes, but powerful allies. His strength would bolster our settlement. I should seek him out. <laughs> 